Hey guys, uh, if you are liking the videos, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the videos and share. So uh, in this video, we'll be talking about a Chant Overdose from Zerjoff. A Chant Overdose is part of the Velvet Collection. Uh, Velvet Collection is that collection with the colored velvety bottles. Uh, a Chant Overdose, the presentation for a Chant Overdose is a little bit different from the others from the same collection, starting with the box here. For this one, you have this golden box, beautiful looking box. You have these axes here. You have this big overdose writing. Beautiful, beautiful. So now to the bottle itself. It is presented to you this way. Look at this. Yeah, like I said, this one's a little bit different. Uh, this one doesn't have the velvet. This one uh, is actually metal, gold, golden metal. Uh, I don't know if the whole uh, the whole bottle is made of metal, but uh, this is for sure a metal coating at least. Either it is a metal coating or the whole bottle is made of metal. It is cold to the touch. Yeah, it looks amazing. For sure, one, one of the best looking bottles in my collection. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So uh, now to the notes. Uh, here we got top notes of fruity notes, green accord, aldehydes. Then in the middle, we have Egyptian jasmine, lily of the valley, and uh, Bulgarian rose. In the base we have pine and eucalyptus. Uh, so, uh, pretty much a chant overdose is a floral bomb, a white floral bomb with fruity touches, green touches, and a very, uh, very dominant pine note. Uh, what I get most here are the white florals and the pine. That's what I get most here. So uh, this one opens very heavy, very potent. Uh, like I said, uh, a floral bomb, a white floral bomb. Uh, however, in the opening, what I get most are the the green accord and uh, the pine. That green smell is what I get the most for the first 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, so uh, for for about uh, 15, 30 minutes, I get this very potent uh, white floral with a very dominant uh, green note, green smell, coming from both the green notes and the, the pine. Uh, I get a little bit of, of the fruity notes, uh, very subtle rose note. Uh, and like I said, I get a lot of the jasmine and the lily of the valley, which are the white florals. And uh, I get a little bit of the eucalyptus, which gives this composition uh, freshness. So uh, after that uh, initial 15, 30 minutes, the, uh, the green notes and the, the pine, they become more balanced with the white floral. They calm down a little bit and become more balanced with the white florals. And uh, that's pretty much how the fragrance stays uh, for the, the end of, of its life. After that uh, initial 15, 30 minutes, the, like I said, uh, the green notes and the pine become uh, a little bit weaker and more balanced with the white florals. Uh, actually, I believe the white floral becomes also a little bit stronger the green notes and the pine note become a little bit weaker and the white floral a little bit stronger. So, uh, but like I said, uh, uh, this one's completely dominated by the white florals and the, the green smell. That's what you get most with this fragrance. But still, you, get, uh, you keep getting those uh, fruity touches, a very subtle rose and uh, a little bit of eucalyptus. This fragrance is not a light fragrance. This is, uh, this has some density and thickness to it. It's not a heavy fragrance, but it's not a, a light fragrance either. It's 
uh, it's in the middle. Uh, it's a little bit sweet, uh, coming from that jasmine and the fruity, uh, fruity notes. Uh, so like I said, uh, it is dense, thick, not heavy, but not light either. A little bit sweet and a little bit fresh. Uh, so uh, if you like floral fragrances, uh, I think this is gonna be love for you. You're gonna love this one. Uh, this one leans a bit more feminine, but uh, I think it is amazing both men and women. Uh, this is my scent of the day. You know, I'm loving this fragrance. I really like it, I really enjoy it. Uh, uh, this projects very heavily. Uh, you will get noticed with this one, for sure. This, the, the performance here is nuclear. Nuclear, amazing. So like I said, I, if you like white florals, if you like floral fragrances, uh, and especially white florals, uh, you will love this fragrance. Like I said, uh, this is a white floral bomb with uh, a green smell. Uh, the best way to describe this smell to you guys, uh, imagine yourself in a garden full of white flowers. Imagine you in the middle of a garden full of white flowers. And in the middle of the garden, there's a pine tree there. That's exactly how this thing smells. You are in a garden full of white flowers, uh, jasmine, and in the middle you have a, a pine. That's how this thing smells. And you get a little bit of those fruity notes. But uh, like I said, uh, completely dominated by the white florals and the uh, the green accord and the pine, uh, with a little bit of those fruity notes. And uh, like I said, what I get what I get the least here is the the rose note. Uh, but uh, this thing smells amazing. If you like florals, like I said, you're gonna love this one. Leans a bit more feminine, but. Uh, Amazing on both man and woman. Uh, the performance here is fantastic. Uh, but let's talk about the versatility first. Uh, for the versatility, this is extremely versatile. Uh, you can wear this year round if you want. But uh, this is uh, this is uh, especially for the spring and summer, especially spring. But uh, can be worn on the summer as well. Uh, uh, daytime, nighttime. I see this a little bit more as a daytime fragrance, but uh, it can be worn on the nighttime, no problem. Both casually, formally, and like I said, uh, this is perfect for the spring, and then after that for the summer. Uh, but it can also can be worn uh, on the colder weather, on the winter, or any other colder season, because, uh, like I said. Uh, this is not light, but it's not heavy either. But like I said, it has density and thickness to it. And it is a little bit sweet. So it can be worn on the colder weather. Uh, performance here is amazing. This is, uh, it is nuclear. This one's nuclear. Longevity here, 14, 16 hours plus, easily on skin on my skin at least, uh, projects very heavily for the first four, six hours. Then after that, for the whole life of the fragrance, it, it, it still keeps projecting a lot, a lot. This one performance here is amazing, amazing guys. So uh, let's sum it up. If you want a, a nuclear performing white floral with a green accord and a, a little bit of some fruits this is perfect for you you're gonna love this and also you get a lot of compliments with this fragrance i'm sure of that amazing fragrance amazing presentation amazing fragrance high quality amazing performance uh fantastic highly recommend this one like i said if you like florals you're gonna love this fragrance So uh, that's it. Uh, for the scent here, 
I'll give it a nine. Uh, to me, uh, the smell is very pleasing, very likable, and very potent. Uh, for the performance here, I'll give this a 10, for sure, a 10, 10 out of 10. Uh, versatility, I'll give this an 8 out of 10. Fantastic fragrance, guys. Really like it, really enjoy it. Highly recommend it. So that's it. Hope you guys liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one.